Hello again, Cox and Nut viewers. A uh, couple of days, me and James are going to be starting up Gary's mod again. And now that it's been updated to 13, it's all been changed. And they've got a whole, a whole new way to actually have your own servers and update. This is not for just Gary's mod, it's got all of the Valve games for their own dedicated servers. Um, so thought we'd crack on to show people just how to do it. It's pretty simple. All you've got to do is start off. So you go to this website, which I will put in all the information as well afterwards anyway. And then you will have to download this. You just click that and it'll come up with the old Steam command. This goes to your downloads folder obviously and then put this wherever you want. Mine's just going to be in the basic C folder. I'm gonna open it up. It would do this for the first time. I'll just obviously update it. It shouldn't take that long. The long ish part is afterwards when you actually want to um, add the dedicated servers. So, first off, you want to log in. You can log in with just anonymous, but I think some games do need you to actually log in with your Steam account. But other than that, you can just crack on with anonymous. And that should just log in. And once we're logged in, you want to do an update for the actual server. You I'm going to make it so it installs it to where I want. Oh, I have to spell it right as well. I'm just going to put it in the normal place. It's going to be just put it there, normal C, and then I'll we'll call it call it Gary's mod server, and then hopefully that should. Install it to there once we do the actual what do we call it? This will be the Gary's mod server. And that'll take if you've got a decent internet connection, it takes me about 20 30 minutes, but other than that, it then I don't know, mine took yeah 20 minutes. And so that's finished installing now. See, it's 100% done. It's installed the Gary's Mod server. Um, so you can go ahead and just quit that. Close that down. And so wherever you've installed it, go into that. And then here, if you want to check your SRCDS dedicated server. So you've got your normal things. And that's basically just the tip server should work now. We'll just start it up. Or not apparently. So yeah, that's it. That's that started up. And then obviously you want other people to be able to join. So if you go to that uh, you obviously want to need to find your own IP so obviously they can be able to connect to it. If they can't find you, that's my so if you want to go to something like that, what's my what is my IP dot com? It'll give you your IP, and so you can give that to your whoever you want to join, and then put on the end. It's basically these this two seven zero one five. So you connect to that certain port, and to set up your own port forwarding, you want to go to your router or go to your own wherever else you connect to, and get to the go into security and then services and then once you're in there you wanna just make one of these so I'm just gonna edit it so you already log in if you don't know your own thing it should be the basic one for it. So yeah. If you want to make your own sort of port forward in so then other people can actually connect to you, you just wanna go on there, go whatever name you want. Obviously one's called a Gary's mod so it's obvious. Put TCP and UDP and then 27015 start port finish port and then have that as well and boom so once you've added your 
port to the services, you then actually need to come over here to firewall rules and add it on to there as well so that it's actually allowing to be going into you, connecting to you and going out. So just need to add this last one here. You just have to go find it on your drop down, allow always. And I'll just put this to to wherever. So I see a number that isn't something already running. I'll just put it to four just to make sure that it's free. And these are obviously just coming out. So but people connecting to you should be able to connect now. So if I now go on to Gary's mod. So we come over to Gary's mod, obviously find your server, which should be in your local network, because it's you, and go to wherever you've made it. So once your server's up, you connect it to it, you should, but if you put all the rules properly, your friend should be able to connect to you. And there he is. It has worked, so he is now able to connect. But he's also a complete burnt corpse. So yeah, that's how to set up a server and get people to connect to you. There's one last thing. For when you actually do make the server, you want to have this folder here, server, which is just the settings to what your actual server will be able to do, like the limits on different props, ragdolls. Obviously, you don't want to have them too high because this is still how you're running it at the moment. I mean, I've got this different things, obviously, a bit higher because we're going to be building, there'll be a few of us building a few different things, so it's one a bit higher limits for some things, other things not too much because they will take quite a lot of power and just explode the whole server. Other things are to turn off the uh, or to do damage to other people on the server, you want to turn off god mode like that. Um, you can set a password for your server, the name and other than that it's just all, there's a lot more you can add into there but these are just the basic ones that I use, I haven't really extended my knowledge on the other bits yet. But I don't know, in the next few videos we'll probably add, actually, excuse me, add a few different new things that me and James haven't tried out. So it'd be a bit more interesting. And with the new steam pipe stuff being making it a lot easier to actually install things, we should be able to get a few different things done. But for now, that's it. How to make a server and set it up and get people connected. For our next our next video will probably be in the next couple of days and that will be me and James back again doing Gary's mod, probably Special Olympics 2 or 3, I can't remember what we got to in the end or maybe something else new for our Gary's mod but that's it for now like and subscribe if this helped you out, give us a comment if there's anything else you want to know we'll see you again soon in the next couple of days